Hey everyone, you may notice that I have my hot ends in my hand, and my entire extruder ripped apart, and you may be asking yourself, why? Well, let me tell you. Over the weekend, I was printing a lot of things, but every so often I would have a jam. My filament would stop extruding, I'd come back and see that the hot end was many layers above where it last extruded. Um, so I kept having jams in the hot end. So I ripped everything apart. And the last time, I could not force any filament to go through the nozzle itself. So I definitely have a jammed nozzle. So I ripped everything apart so that I can go and replace the nozzle, take off the nozzle, clean it, and see if I can unjam this nozzle. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So currently, this is heating up. So we're going to wait until this gets to uh, a temperature in which I can actually um, hopefully unscrew this. And uh, I'll come back to you once this is heated up. And we're currently at a point in which I can just simply remove the heat break from this thing. You can see that it just screws into the top. You can see some filament from the last time, last little bit of filament that I had in there. Uh, but that's not important. And you can see in here that I've tried to clean up the nozzle, but it just wasn't working how I expected it to. So I'm actually going to keep that on here so I have a little bit of grip. And we're going to try to remove this. So the silicone sleeve gone. That'll make it a little easier to deal with. So now I have the bare metal exposed. Should be able to grip it slightly better now. There we go. So now the nozzle's free. And there we go. We have removed the nozzle from the interior of this hexagon hot end. So now I'm going to wait for everything to cool down and we'll see if I can unjam this nozzle. And for those of you interested, this is what the inside of the, uh, the hot end looks like with the nozzle removed. And as you expect, it's just a threaded insert where you can screw the nozzle in, and that's what holds the thermistor and the uh, heat cartridge in place. But the main parts, they just screw on, both the uh, the barrel here and the nozzle at the other end. So let's go try to unjam that nozzle. So here's the nozzle removed from the hot end. And of course, you're not going to be able to see through it at all because it is, in fact, jammed. So the first step, is since I've been using primarily ABS in here, I'm going to soak this tip in acetone. And hopefully the acetone will start to dissolve some of the ABS that's stuck in there and give me a better chance on removing whatever clogged this nozzle. So the nozzle's been sitting in here for about 20 minutes and there's not too much change so far. But what I'm gonna do is I have a, a little bit of wire here. This is just stranded wire um, that I've removed some of the end and I've actually peeled out some of the, the individual wires inside. And hopefully, uh, a single one of those wires from the stranded wire is going to be small enough where I'd be able to actually take it and insert it into the nozzle and start to clean out the nozzle that way. So I've got my wire, and I can get it in there. There we go. So I can work out some of the plastic that's in there, but I can't seem to put the wire all the way through. There's still something in there jamming uh, the very tip of the nozzle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to clean out some of that, uh, some of the plastic on the inside of the nozzle, and then give it some more acetone bath. Hopefully, that'll give time for the newly exposed plastic to come in contact with some acetone and dissolve away. So I'm going to do this a few times, and hopefully, the uh, jam will get cleared. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to heat up the nozzle, and hopefully, I can heat it up to a temperature in which uh, whatever gunk still left in there will start to get hot and I can just poke the uh, the wire through and unclog that nozzle. So I've got my heat gun set to about 330 degrees Celsius and I'm just blowing a lot of hot air on it, hoping to melt that. So I wasn't able to make any progress with the hot air gun, so I put it into another acetone bath. 
Uh, so now this has been soaking for another, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So we're just going to try again and poke through the nozzle. And I'm hoping that we'll just be able to poke right through and unclog this nozzle. You can feel a little resistance. Uh, no. And hopefully, oh, there we go. Yeah. So I can fit it just right through the nozzle. If I poke it around, you can see that's the, uh, the little bit of wires going directly through the nozzle. So I think that we've solved it. I think, hopefully, that we have unclogged this nozzle. I'm going to sit here and see if I can get any more of the gunk out from the inside. I don't want to spend too much time doing this because this is a brass nozzle and brass is relatively soft. Um, so I'm not going to sit here and screw around too much because I might accidentally increase the nozzle diameter and I don't want that because I'm happy with the, uh, the 0 0.4 millimeters that I have here. But I just want to make sure that the clog is actually gone. And once I do this, then we'll go and let's put this back on the printer and see if we did actually solve the clogged nozzle issue. So we're back at the printer and I have my freshly cleaned nozzle that hopefully is no longer clogged. So I'm going to start hand tightening this in and then we will go and turn on the hot ends and get this up to temperature before I really crank it down. And when you're assembling a hot end like this, you always want to do it hotter than the hottest temperature that you're going to print with because when metal gets hot, it expands and that can cause, if you tighten it right now, when this heats up and expands, that means that there could be um, some pathways that will allow the plastic to leak through. Everything expands, there opens up cracks, and it's no longer as tight as you thought it was. So always heat up your hot end and then really tighten it down. So let's go do that. Okay, we are at 250 degrees. So this is the position where I was hand tightening it. Let's see how much more we can go. See, I can get a whole, at least a quarter of a turn there uh, after it's heated up. So that's the difference that's um, tightening it while it's hot will do. So let's let's actually get a little bit more. There we go. So that's that's a pretty tight nozzle right there. Get a little bit more. Let's see if we can come around on the other side. There we go. So now that nozzle's not going anywhere. And I'll do the same with the barrel since I took the barrel off. So I'll come along with the wrench and we'll really tighten down this barrel just so that there's no way it's kind of hard to hold this in these players actually that way there's no way that any of this will slip once we get everything into position and that there's no no leaking of any of the plastic for these so there we go that seems nice and tight so let's see if this works. We're up to temperature, so I'm just going to manually push some filament through and hopefully what we'll see is stuff being extruded. Oh, there we go. And that looks like a nice nozzle diameter, actually. It looks like it's coming out with actually no resistance, so I think that we cleared that nozzle. Ah, oh, yeah. So I guess the next step is to actually put this thing together and see if we can do a print. Now that would be awesome. Let's do that. And as you can see, this nozzle is unclogged and it's printing beautifully. So with a little bit of acetone, a little bit of heat, and a whole lot of patience, we were able to successfully unclog that nozzle. So that's going to be it for the episode. If you guys have had a clogged nozzle and were able to find a technique that worked for you, please leave it in the comments down below. I would love to know what you did to unclog your own 3D printer nozzle. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.